Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett and today I am finally printing something useful. I get comments all the time saying, Garrett, print something useful. You have a 3D printer, print something useful. Garrett, oh you printer these useless things. Garrett, print something useful. What if I like these useless things? But regardless, I have made something useful. So if you guys consider yourself to be a coffee connoisseur or occasionally partake in coffee, you probably know what this guy is. It is a K-cup. And you might be like me, um, I just have a box of these sitting somewhere in a cupboard, and I thought I could make something kind of cool that held these, um, but also didn't look terrible. So those two things were my criteria for this. Old K-cups don't look terrible. Simple enough, right? Well, when designing things that serve some sort of purpose, most of the time you're going to end up going through multiple iterations, and this was no exception. So the first iteration of this K-cup holder that I created actually had eight slots. And the reason that that one didn't work, one, it was pretty thin, so it was a little too brittle, and um, the K-cups were actually a little too close together, so they didn't quite fit in there perfectly. So I went back to the drawing board and decided to remove one of the holes. Um, so now there's only seven slots on there, but they're more spaced out and can actually fit the K-cups in there. And I made some adjustments to make it a little bit sturdier. But even that didn't work because, as you can see here, uh, it broke. That's because I print it like this, and then I have a pole going up right through the middle, like this, that's actually pretty thin, so the layer lines are a structural weakness. So um, I needed to do something to make this a little bit thicker. And third time is the charm, right? I eventually ended up with this right here. And now, as you can see, it's the same basic design, and the cool thing is, this actually spins. I put a bearing in the base, and the poles through the middle of this actually sit in the bearing, so this is completely free spinning. So let's take this apart and get into it. First of all, I made these in layers so um, they can separate really easily. And as you can see, there's just a little shaft in there that uh, will fit into the hole right on the top here. And then there are just holes that go around the side that the K-cups fit right into. And then the base that holds everything up is down here, and I just put a hole that is the perfect size for these bearings. I'll put a link to these bearings down in the description so you can see what I used. And then this pole just fits perfectly into that bearing. Now I removed all of the K-cups from this so you can see what's actually going on. And in this design I actually tried to make it a little more aesthetically interesting, um, if nothing else. So these are pretty thick, they've got some nice little geome geometrical shapes in there. I put a few um, fillets in here. And then I also created a much more gradual curve here to increase the sturdiness. But as you can probably guess, this is still not 100% perfect. Um, this is decently sturdy, but if you drop something on it, it's going to break. So I think I'm going to be making future iterations of this. Um, they're a little bit stronger, but until then I figured I would throw these files out there anyway if you wanted to do something like this for yourself. And everything's pressure fit. I made this just a little bit too big. Um, so it will take a little bit of filing, but it's very close, so you don't have to do too much. But that is on purpose, so it fits snugly in there, and you won't have to do any gluing or anything like that. And then it just spins perfectly. I love bearings. Okay, guys, well, I hope you found this interesting and can get some use out of it. I did put the links to the files down in the description, and I will also be including one of the base without the spot for the bearing, in case you don't want a bearing in there. And as for the comments at the beginning of the video, um, those are all just in good fun. I absolutely do love creating useful things. And that's ultimately what I think most of the draw towards 3D printers will be. But I just see that as a theme in some of the comments I get, so I thought I'd poke a little bit of fun at it. Alright guys, well if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed if you're not already. I think I'm actually going to have two modeling videos this week, so you'll want to stick around for that. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.